Hey, good morning, everybody. Sitting out here, enjoying my coffee in the little bird garden we've created in front of the Desert Nature Alliance here in Gold Canyon, celebrating Earth Day. I got up in the sunshine. It's just fantastic. So, good morning. Trying to send you some desert sunshine and love first thing. So, grab yourself a cup of coffee, hang out with me for a little bit, and share some stories see what you got going on let me know put it in the comments that's the only way i'm gonna hear from you so i'll be sitting here telling you just a little bit about what's going on i know it's early you're like all right stacy will let you do the talking well okay here cheers happy earth day from stacy and the desert nature alliance it's beautiful out absolutely beautiful out um if you're going to be coming to the desert the weather is pretty fabulous it is going to get toasty i've noticed that in the morning i me i get a little chilly but it doesn't take long in the sunshine and i'm already um getting hot you're going to want to wear your shorts and that kind of stuff and definitely be drinking a lot of water if you're going to come on out to hieroglyphic trails you got peralta trail out here some beautiful beautiful hikes if you're going to come on on this side if you're driving through, definitely stop by the DNA and um, let us know where you're going, what you got going on. I can give you any any tips or suggestions or any of that kind of stuff. Or just want to hear what, what you experienced while you were out here. Uh, pretty, pretty amazing stuff. See if you get any of that vortex energy. I just got back from um, a, a trip. We went to um, Cottonwood, took a trip up and around through Prescott went through the Yarnell area, um, pretty amazing. I'm noticing this morning I'm saying I'm um, a lot and I'm not exactly sure why, so bear with it on this video, probably because it's early, don't have enough of this in me. Let's stop, let's have a drink of coffee. Maybe that'll take the ums away. While I was in Cottonwood, cute, cute um, town above us maybe do an hour and a half two hours i guess north the energy up there by the river and just around it, it it's close to sedona for me for someone who is sensitive or animal sensitive or just energy sensitive i felt it and it felt a little different or more uneven than when I feel when I go to Sedona. Sedona, I tend to feel more of a happier kind of uh, a feeling. And Cottonwood made me more thinking and, and internal and feeling stuff when I was out there. And so that was amazing. And then we went through Prescott and had one of the best breakfasts I've had in a long time. Shout out to that apple place. Is that what it's called? Apple place? Oh goodness, I need to look that up. That's bad advertising for me. Bear with me, guys. I'll put that all in the, the comments. I'll make a whole other... I need to make a whole post about that. I don't know when the last time I had such a good breakfast out someplace. Oh my god, the food was so, so good. Um, I did take pictures, but like halfway through eating it, I was like inhaling this food and realizing that I was like, okay, I, I really should do a shout out, but I was like, I've already just... Yeah, so good. And then we drove through an area um, that was significant uh, to see a memorial. And I did do a post about that. And I didn't want to get too deep um, but in honor of the, the firefighters. And went to the memorial. And then um, out to Wickenburg and back around. And so I was able to experience all the different parts in a loop that Arizona has to offer in this area. Arizona is such an amazing state for having all these different, where you can see snow and pine trees, to where you can see the saguaro and the ocotillo, down to seeing in Tucson crested saguaro that are just so rare, it's amazing. So in honor of, of Earth Day, yeah, just beautiful state that I live in. You got the Grand Canyon, um, you got animals that are just, just wild and rolling through here and birds and the migration and cheers to, to Earth Day. There's no reason not to celebrate the earth and the, your surroundings in the same exuberance level as you would maybe your birthday or Christmas. Okay, Because that's how I feel about Earth Day and nature. You all know that. This weekend, well, most weekends, I've been putting a little pop-up tent out here. Our plaza isn't really that busy on the weekends. Most of the people in the plaza do things that are, I, I would say, more of a nine to five kind of stuff. So I'm lucky, got a little extra space in the plaza on the weekends. So I tend to put my pop-up up. I've got a table, 
and whatever I happen to be working on or can display or people can come touch and stuff. And then I got people that walk by and bikes and all that and visit. And so that's what I'm going to be doing today, this morning. I, I just tend to hang out for a little bit, get the energy flowing, get the coffee going, all that stuff. Get Bandit's light on, Bandit the our gopher snake. And then I come back usually from about 10 to 1. So I heard that's when I do the work. Then I take the tent down, take another break and come back for the evening. So if you've ever been like, I don't know what hours you have, it was very hard for us to put those kind of hours online anywhere. So you gotta contact us sometimes. Sometimes it is hit or miss. I would hate for you to drive all the way out here and not see us and not have the the museum open. But that's as simple as, as texting, get online, get me a message, and I check it as, as quickly as I possibly can. Um, so if you're gonna be out this weekend, definitely come by bring the family bring whoever bring yourself sit on out here and enjoy see if we get any of the hummingbirds i have yet to see a hummingbird come in through here but i know we have them all around the quail are, are been pretty active this morning definitely seeing some some different variety of bird they come from the golf course behind us let me know if you're in need of anything in any extra education support you got people traveling all of it we're here for you that's the desert nature alliance the museum is doing really well uh, all the above so thanks for sharing the time with me this morning i look forward to hearing from you guys put it in the comments like i said what you got going on let me know let me know how you're going to celebrate your earth day tag me all that kind of stuff and yes i am a nonprofit. I, I could use any help if you know of grants if you have grants if you have all that extra money and you're like oh after tax season i should have given to somebody a female nonprofit could use your help it, it goes to all of the different projects that we're working on the different programs and the continuum of the education and the support for our communities thank you so much for your time this morning happy earth day um enjoy some coffee get going you're probably already late for wherever you're supposed to be you're like why am i still watching this i was supposed to be moving an hour